Just two days ago, I dropped a video going over why I believe that ASAP Rocky's new album, Don't Be Dumb, would be his best because all the puzzle pieces were falling into place perfectly and that he was in full control of the creative rollout of this album. It's now gotten delayed the album don't be dumb we gotta obviously talk about this and see what the reasons are and also what this means for the record because honestly i am i'm i'm not happy with this i think this is bad for him and the album so let's talk about this if you want to stay up to date with everything surrounding hip-hop make sure to subscribe and also become a part of this community by joining our discord server in the description real quick if you don't want to listen to this make sure to skip 10 seconds into the future but you can also sign up for my free newsletter with the first link in the description it comes every sunday and recaps everything that's been happening in hip-hop so make sure to do that so we've been expecting don't be dumb to release next friday august 30th we've had we've had this release date ever since rocky gave us that release date a couple of weeks ago even like a month or two ago and we all thought this would be the date that it would drop and i mean this album has a history of getting delayed we went through phases of all smiles of grim to finally now don't be dumb which he teased like over like maybe like two years ago and now we're finally getting it this has been really a roller coaster when it comes to release dates and when this would be dropping and now it's delayed again this is not a good sign let's look at the facts first before i give you my opinion on why i think this happened and what this means for the record so rocky is actually the cover of the latest billboard magazine it looks pretty cool i think they did a great job with the photo shoot and whatever they're doing i mean rocky is uh rocky is someone that can definitely do a photo shoot they also had you know like a little story that they did in a video form where he was walking through harlem and kind of going over his childhood places that he was visiting while growing up it was really beautiful i think it also was like a little a little love letter from him to his neighborhood to his growing up in harlem so i think that video was pretty cool so definitely if you're a rocky fan make sure to go check out that billboard story and then also accompanying that cover that he did obviously was an interview a pretty long one a pretty interesting one that goes into a lot of detail also about his inspirations about a couple of subliminal things he here and there that you can interpret how you want when it comes to drake also on fatherhood obviously on harlem as well so this is definitely an interview i haven't gotten through all of it yet so i still need to kind of sift through the entire thing but it's really interesting it's pretty long i love when they're doing detailed stories like this but it's called the real asap rocky the harlem rap star on fatherhood drake german expressionism and why rihanna is his perfect person his first album in over six years is he says finally coming and hip-hop is still catching up to him but the star has much more on his mind you can just read through this and then at one point you get to this one paragraph where it reads today rocky seems confident that he's in full control of his creative output and says he's finally ready to drop his long-awaited fourth album don't be dumb he's only been working on it for the past year but he believes like most artists discussing their new work that it's the best album he's ever made and then this is the important part that we're gonna go get back to during the course of reporting the story he does push its release date from august 30th to the fall so this is it right here that a lot of people were kind of citing that a lot of people were looking at and i mean the fact that this is just like an addition to this paragraph in the middle of this big interview is crazy i mean this is the this is the confirmation that it now got pushed back now rocky did actually address this because nfr podcast reposted this and they kind of cited that that article that exact part in parentheses during the course of reporting the story blah 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 and they then also updated their release date to asap rocky don't be dumb fall 2024 and rocky actually replied to this tweet or retweeted it with a reply and says leaks and sample clearances are disrupting the album it's been six years and i want to make the best album ever i'm sorry for the wait so leaks again are the reason that was one of those things that a lot of people had rumor but then that rumor was from like a year ago what leaks what leaks I mean, sample clearances, I guess, but this album, we've waited six years, some time to clear samples. I know he's been only working on it for a year still, though. What leaks? What leaks are out there? I haven't seen them. I'm, I'm sorry, but where, where are they? What are the crazy leaks that prevent this from dropping in seven days? I don't know, man. It's pretty weird. I'm not happy about this. 
I mean, the fact that he now loses control of the role of having everything under control is, is not good. And I mean, one of the reasons I talked about this album being one of his best is because he had such a long time to put everything together so that it would actually come out on that date. And now it's not. And he's pushed it back to an to a really unprecise date. It's I mean, we had August 30th. That was an exact date. Now it's fall. What does that mean? We don't even we don't even have a date anymore. We regressed in in terms of this rollout, which is something that I didn't think would happen. So far it's only been pretty vague and he's been hinting at it. I mean, this album has a history of not dropping on dates that Rocky says or dropping in time periods that Rocky says. And now it's just continuing. This is not good. I think that some hype will die down for this. I don't want it to. I I, I really want to listen to the record. I love Rocky. My favorite artist at some point, definitely. And really obsessed with everything he was doing. And to see that happening, man, I'm, I'm not happy with it. And I think he knows that. I guess, you know, legal issues like sample clearances can get in the way. I get that. But still, I'm not happy about it. Some people already said maybe he's scared because Travis is dropping days before Rodeo this week and that Travis could sell more with a 10-year-old mixtape than Rocky does with his new album. Or some people were saying that there is a Drake diss on this record and that that's maybe why he's scared. I mean, honestly, I really don't want this to be about beef, about subliminals. I just want good music from Rocky without any interference with like a Drake beef or anything. That would just be tiring, bro. I just want good music that could stand alone outside of the context of the time period it was made in and just be good on itself without the Drake beef that was going on, which wasn't really a beef, but still. So that's the situation pushed back to fall because of leaks and sample clearances. And I don't think this is good at all. And uh, I mean, the reasons are pretty... They're, they're pretty vague. Leaks and sample clearances are the most generic thing you can say. While they could be true, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of struggling to really be like, oh, no problem, Rocky, we got you. I mean, uh, no problem, Rocky, we got you, but still, kind of like a bitter taste to it. Anyway, one more thing that I did want to mention because we talked about it in the last video is that the hijack video finally dropped. And it's pretty cool. I mean, it didn't have those crazy 3D animations that we've seen in the trailers for this, but it's a really good video. Definitely one that, you know, goes in the Rocky category of just being artistically really good. So definitely go check out the hijack music video. Run this up. We have the music video now, maybe as like a little, as like something to hold us over while we're waiting for the album to drop this fall. Uh, so thankfully we got that. Run that up. I want it to be a successful song because I really want this album to be as good as it possibly can. And I mean, Rocky's right. He want, he has, it's been six years. He wants us to get the best version of the album. It's just so sad that the album has had this track record of just being pushed back, being pushed back. And now it's leaks, and there was already a reason for it being delayed, but then there wasn't really a reason, and now it's back. I don't know, man. I just want this album, and now it's pretty sad that we're not getting it next Friday. But I'll keep you updated on anything that happens concerning Rocky and Don't Be Dumb. So make sure you stay subscribed, and definitely let me know what y'all think about this entire situation in the comments down below. If you watched this video to the end and liked it and you want to stay up to date with all current hip hop events and releases, make sure to subscribe, turn on notifications, hit that like button and go follow my social media and most importantly, join my discord in the description. Until the next one, we'll have an incredible day and y'all take care.